There's an email. Can you do this email uh, for us? Just before I do, Steve, you didn't ask the question. Why SD? Why Shelburne Drury rather than Dennis? <sighs> I don't really know. Um, probably because the company uh, went down and uh, I was trying to track down uh, one of the last vehicles, which I did on the Isles of Scilly, and I got another one from Blackpool. How did you get it store. back from the Isles of Scilly? It came over on a supply ship in three places. Must three have pieces. cost you a fortune. Well, the, um, the TV company rebuilt it, actually bought that over. They actually had two out there, with so one we cut for spares. So you were gifted off. it by Channel 4? I was gifted the, the lorries by the Council of the Isles of Scilly. They just wanted to get rid of them. All right, and then the TV programme gifted you all the work. And the transportation yeah, they wanted costs. to do do a rebuild of a lorry and use heavy hydraulics, which they hadn't done, and I had the project in hand. So, so I bet you couldn't believe your luck when all of this happened. How did you get to do the programme on Channel 4 and, and, and hear about the making of the programme and get involved? Well, they asked on a previous series if anyone had any projects, so I took some photographs, put it Got all in together, touch. and uh, they contacted me. Line one, hi, who's this? Hello, it's Henry. Hello, Henry, you're through to Steve Jones, the bin man. Hello, Henry. Hi, Steve. Um, first of all, uh, David, I wonder if I could have a very quick word. Yeah, sure. Uh, a bit concerned. I, the last time I saw you, um, I, I, I met you briefly. You didn't really want to speak to me very much, but I met you briefly on the boat. And uh, I couldn't help noticing that your car was parked in the car park. I, uh, your vehicle, is it, is it still... Um, it's, just, it's just I did some business yesterday, came across, and I know you're in the funeral industry, but... I was a bit concerned. I saw your vehicle there. Is that a dead body? That's <laughs> <laughs> or, seriously, or is it a coffin? Because I, I honestly, it's just if it's a dead body. Yeah, all right, Henry. With the heat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, speak to Steve. <laughs> anyway, Steve. Um, good to speak to you. It's an interesting guy. C can I just ask you? Have you um, have you ever had a girlfriend? Sort of. Yeah, in the past. What and do you mean, sort of? Well. Yeah, in the past, yeah. And and let's be honest, which what do you think is more reliable, your bin truck or a woman? <laughs> Depends what way you look at it. The I suppose the bin not, truck would win not. every time, wouldn't it? Mm. I mean, did, would to you? On the, I'm not on the grass, which is better looking. I mean, it depends on which part of the island. The bin truck in. would win every time, then, wouldn't it? Do you really think a bin truck is more uh, attractive than a woman, Steve? Depends, depends which woman we're on about, depends though, really. Which way you look yeah. All right, really, I'll give you, uh, give him a woman. Ah, just... oh. Lindsay DePaul. Do you remember? No her? idea. I've heard of the name. I've no idea. Goldie Horn. Is. No, I don't know. I don't know. Michelle Pfeiffer. I don't know. I've heard of the name. I don't know. Well, I don't what know woman do you know? Lovely Babs from Pan's People. Barbara Windsor in her prime. I know Barbara Windsor right, in, in her Harry prime. Films. Barbara no, Windsor. No, I'd rather have the refuge vehicle. Well, Barbara Windsor topless in a tiny little bikini bottom or the refuge truck? No, I'll have the refuge vehicle. Okay, I think that answers it. Oh, anyway, Henry, what else did you want to say? No, no, no that, that was it, really. And, uh, you know, I hope you enjoy your bin truck. And uh, I saw it briefly, and it looks fantastic. It really does, uh, as far as bin trucks go. The only thing I will say, I, I couldn't help this, because I had to see somebody around that area. I hope you don't mind, but I did put some of my rubbish in the back of a... Uh, I had to squeeze around the back, but I put some rubbish in the back there, but I'm sure that's not a problem. Oh, thank you very much. I've got to get rid of that, have I? <laughs> Poor old Steve. Well, he doesn't want any rubbish in the back of that dust. It's a museum not. piece. Bin, bin trucks are for, though, aren't they? Well, not Steve's. They're museum pieces. It's a museum, museum you know. piece. I've got another one in storage I'm doing up. What is that? Exactly the same make, but it's a, it's a longer version. It's longer wheelbase. Are you yeah, going to do it in the same colour scheme? No, I was thinking about doing it in the old south white colours. The old uh, oh, very nice. pale, yeah. pale creep. Henry's pale, hung um, up. Green and uh, the golden... Blue badge on the door. That would be nice. Yeah, it'd be very nice. Oh, right, I'll do email. this email. By the way, Henry, uh, I'd forgotten where I put that, so thanks for letting me know, reminding me. Uh, perhaps, uh, this says Alex, perhaps if we used our discretion and started to burn some uh, some of our rubbish again at times that wouldn't offend the neighbours, it would solve some of the problems uh, that we've now got with rubbish, says uh, Claire, the hardworking uh, housewife cab and cabby driver. Mm. Burning's sort of gone right out the window now, and it all You're smoke not a fan of the bonfire. Well, everything years ago when I was a kid that we used to put on the bonfire. Oh, really. carpets. Oh, yeah, tires, I burnt that. Full Top the tires. Oh, in the parks, that was the way we burnt all the tree rubbish, all the burnable waste. And now with the Oh, yeah, loads. yeah, garden waste. You still lorry can loads. burn, can't you? Well, we used to do it in lorry loads in the park, push it up with a loading shovel on the tractor, put a couple of lorry tires in it, drop a petrol and burn it. Burn for days. Petrol. We didn't, you know, if you'd done it properly, you didn't blow yourself up. You, but you mentioned your we mum. Just get the thing alight. Steve, your mum is still up in the London Borough of Hanford. Yes. Uh, what about your dad? 
Oh, he's died. He died no. last year. Oh, did he? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Have you got any other brothers or sisters? No, I'm the only one. Oh, right. I just wondered what they thought of your hobby, you know, cousins and... Who does I've got your, cousins. Who does, your mum's, uh, who does your mum's bins? Well, gang two, Thursday morning. What and time? They get there about half past nine. There's still a couple of the uh, Good. original guys. Yeah, Good Norman's gang. still on there, Norman Parry, and uh, Mick uh, Kennedy, the driver. He used to drive the sewer lorry, but he's driving the refuge. Oh, he's gone up What's the... Uh, he used to do the old drains and stuff, yeah? He did, yeah. What's How much his... do you tip the dustman at Christmas? My dustman. Mm-hmm. I usually give them a fiver, but I'll give them. Um, I'll give some cans of drink through the year. What's the typical tip for a Christmas? Uh, I, I've no idea fives, nowadays. Tens, I've been, people give them a fiver, I suppose. I've no idea. It's I always really been a fiver know. for the dustman at Christmas. No, not me. I've always given twenty. Oh, I've, you've probably got more money than I have. Mm. Uh, what about uh, Steve? We just uh, obviously we're running out of time, but <sighs> it's an awkward question to ask you, but. You haven't really answered what your family, sort of extended family's reaction to your hobby is. It, it just fascinates me. I think most people have got used to it by now. In your family? They've, um, yeah, they, they know I'm into it. And At least they see them coming up the garden uh, path. And your mum, uh, uh, your mum would probably, presumably, she would, uh, she's happy you've got the carts, or would she rather you'd have... Oh, no, I think she's well happy wife. with them. I've bought her down, um, I went to a show last year in Hertfordshire with it. We had a Shelburne and Drury reunion. They're actually made electric within Hertfordshire. And we actually took some vehicles to the reunion. On the way back, I went to, to her house, picked her up. You picked your mum up in the car? I brought her back to the Isle of Wight in it, yeah. In the car? Her. How yeah. old is she? Oh, she's 76. There's no way for an old lady to travel. Oh, she's very agile. She, she, she can, can still walk. jump up on the car? Yeah, she can walk 10 miles a day. She's not a problem. She's... Blimey, she could have got a job on the bins. Uh, Steve, what was the <laughs> registration number of the lorry that picks up your mum's rubbish? What, now? Yeah. I honestly couldn't tell you. No. Honest, well, you they've, do surprise they've me. They've changed all the fleet numbers from three, three to four-digit numbers because yeah. they've got a new computer. And system. there is where it's we have to leave the phone-in for today. Uh, Thank you very much for joining us. And we will be back soon. <laughs>